I've been really interested in uh, pattern and like how decorative pattern can imitate or reference behavioral patterns. And um, so if you have one um, frame, you're, you're talking about time in one shot. So you have one moment to explain a whole story. It could be sequential. So it could be the same person doing different actions in each repetition, or it could be a group of people all doing different things at the same time. Part of it might be kind of self-portraiture, but, um, but it's also just fun to paint this, this person over and over again. So I've been working lately um, on this series of TV drawings and um, I really like medical shows and shows about surgery, but I'm also something that really freaks me out. So I just, um, I don't, I haven't like fully formed the conceptual idea of it, but, uh, but I thought it'd be interesting to paint TVs that have um, kind of weird things going on in them, like surgery and things that have a lot of color, but, and are a little bit abstracted, but once you look closer, you can tell that there's something gross happening. And I feel that way, like, I think that's a recurring theme, or it, I try to make it a recurring theme in my work, and the work that I'm usually most interested in is, um, is kind of, I always say it's kind of like a magic trick in that it it lures you in um, by how, how it looks and, how, and the delicacy of it. And then once you're actually looking at it, you realize that there's something perverted or gross or really strange happening. And so I think the best work is, um, the best paintings are paintings that kind of delight you and then deceive you in that way.